Hi everyone, it's Marta and today is not Wednesday, it's Friday and it's time for our vlogs. So for those who don't know me yet, I'm Marta, I'm a third year FRTV and media and communications and I'm from Spain. So today I'm gonna be talking about homesickness and my experience with it. So first you need to know why did I decide to come to Christchurch and that was because I came here to Canterbury for a school trip. I love the city, so when the moment of deciding which university to go to arrived, my family and I decided to uh, take me to the UK to study and that way I will improve my English and my future opportunities and all that. Uh, I don't remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, yeah. So obviously Christchurch was the best place for me because I loved the course that they had uh, because I could do a combined degree and also because I knew the city already. So at the beginning I was super excited to come to Christchurch and to the UK and speak English and everything but I remember mom saying all the time like and I was like, Mom, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. When the moment finally arrived, I was with my mom and I had to say goodbye and everything. And there was a huge drama that felt like I wasn't gonna see her ever again. I went with my daddy to the airport and I came here to petrol score. A funny fact. <laughs> when my best friend was going back from the airport to her house the police stopped her and thought that she was doing uh, illegal stuff because her eyes were so red of crying and yeah, yeah. we're still rolling right i'm gonna cut all this you know <laughs> let's go back to the story <laughs> well, my dad came with me to petroscore we left everything set with like all the decoration and everything and then I had to say goodbye to him too and at the beginning I was fine he was going to the taxi and when he turned around I remember started crying all of a sudden I was like okay this is gonna be harder than I thought so I think the problem with homesickness is that when you feel low or like stress and you just want to go home and you can't do it because it's so expensive and it's such a long journey and everything uh, that you just feel like you're on your own first month in the UK everything was fine I started doing some tourism yeah so after a month you start realizing how different everything is from uh, the weather to the food and uh, all that yeah you start missing home and it's normal feel sad a bit because we are all human but mm, don't make this a habit what I used to do was like stay home and just don't didn't want to do anything, just stay home and do nothing and just count the days to go back and book all these flights to go home and just thinking about it just because I miss home so much. I wasted my year thinking just about going home. So every time I went home and I came back, it was like I came full of energy and I was like, okay, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna, you know, do everything and I was, I'm gonna be fine. I was like a roller coaster, I was like, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then after two or three weeks, I'll be sad again or like missing home. And after talking to lots of international students, I think we all feel the same way. Even if you are not an international student, it's normal that you miss home. But there's something I realized and it's like when I kept my mind busy doing stuff, making like going to lectures, writing essays or just hanging out with my flatmates, I was fine. And that's the point, it's about keeping your mind busy and don't, be, don't have time to get bored and overthink stuff. What I did was to join the dance society. I committed to all the trainings and competitions. And that was really helpful for me. If there's something you like, join, do as much as you can. But at the end of the day, it's just three years or four in my case because I did foundation. We need to take advantage of it. This is temporary, it's your uni life, so you have two options, either stay home, uh, bored and overthinking how much you miss home or go out there, join everything you can and learn English if you're an international student and I don't know, make friends and just leave the experience because it's not going to happen again. So that's it. That's all from me today. Thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up yeah, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel now. See you on Wednesday and there will be another vlog next Friday. So 